So you at a little live on location right now at Toronto International Film Festival right now. We've got the cast and crew of a fabulous, fabulous indigenous flick. How are you guys doing? Doing great, thank you. I'm excited, okay? So I've been a journalist 11 years. I've traveled in Yukon, Yellowknife. I've worked for CKLB Radio, The Voice of Dinner Day, as a producer for Morning Show. And let me tell you, I saw the flick. I'm impressed. I love it. What did you guys take away from this flick? We haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just being gonna, honest. Just going to put that out there. Yeah, uh, we're going to see it tonight it. at the premiere. Okay. So you're ahead of us. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, yeah. I really, really love how you guys really, really created something lovely. It's about, uh, you know, it's, it's a beautiful piece, and, and there's so much that an audience can really take away. But what did you guys, how did you guys prepare for this flick? Let's start with you. Um, I think I read the script. I talked with Jeff. I talked with the other actors. I think there was so much... Um, playing on set like I think as an indigenous actor especially coming at a film where you're able to embrace your indigeneity and then being thrown into a zombie apocalypse like you're like a five-year-old kid again I think just and, and Jeff is like that too you know he's like this crazy comic book nerd teenager who's just like oh yeah we're doing a zombie film like it's crazier it's crazier than you're doing right now like it's realer than you're doing it right now it's you're this is life or death right now like you have to grab your girlfriend, you had to drag her into this van. I don't believe you're not you're not dragging her. So it was like every day was this crazy experience where that you just wanted you to play more. And I think that's the the place that I came from where it's like it's just you're five again, you're playing zombies, you're killing people and it's it's just fun. And it's exciting, it's, it's fun. fun, it's different. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. a thriller for sure. How about yourself? What did you what, how did you prepare for this role? Well, Reading the script the first time, I was just like, absolutely, I want to be a part of this. Jeff is a visionary director, not just as an indigenous director, but a, a director overall. Um, I think he builds these incredible worlds um, that uh, really present something so uh, so surreal and elevated. And so um, all of us had to watch Incident at Restigouche, Alanisa Bamsuin's uh, documentary about what actually happened in Jeff's community in the late 70s and early 80s. And watching that film and then actually going to Listigouche um, was, was such a profound experience, being able to be there with the community and know what has happened in that place. Um, and to be able to know that the language is alive, the culture is alive, and they're still um, thriving in so many ways so yeah it was it was a wonderful experience and the prep process was was very much just like total excitement about the script and working with a visionary director and also knowing that um, this script reflects uh, a lived history I love it I love it. it's like a very human interest story there's so much cool things you can take away from this flick I want to know guys because we're here live right now Toronto International Film Festival it's a big deal how does it feel being part of this beautiful flick um. I love it. I love it. I love being part of the community that we built on the set um, in Montreal and, and Vistagouche last year. Uh, and now we're here. We've been like just like sending a little message. Are you, are you, are you coming? Are you, I see you there. So it feels like we're on we're on a rocket ship, and it's like blasting off. It's that's really fun. It's really exciting, and it's rare also when um, an indigenous film um, is gathering this kind of momentum. Um, it's incredibly gratifying. Last question to wrap it up here with Spotlight TV Radio Network. I want to know if you had to give one piece of advice to a young indigenous kid out there that wants to break through in this business. What's the advice? Mm. Don't be afraid. Yeah, go for it. Be brave. And yourself? Yeah, uh, it's it it it's a hard industry and it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's so difficult to make a film, but yeah. it's so much fun. And I think if you love it, like I see in the eyes of like Jeff, loving it since he was a kid, just being like, oh yeah, I watched every film when I was a kid and I figured I can make one, I think. All right, and guys, it you heard it first here. You guys got to watch this <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> beautiful <laughs> piece. I'm excited. Don't go anywhere. We're here going to be broadcasting to you live downtown in Toronto, Canada, here on King & John. No te pierdas.